You drink milk? Just with cereal. Okay. Not that milk. That milk. What's the difference? That's Dairy Farm. We drink Dairy Barn. Fine. Happy? Why would I be happy? It's just milk. Shoot. Keep it up. You'll be on one of the cartons. Okay, cereal. We got Lucky Charms, Cocoa Puffs, Frosted Flakes, Maple Loops. I don't want Maple Loops. It's got oats and corn and wheat. It's the sweetest breakfast treat. It's, it's Maple 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 Delicious. <laughs> you know who wrote that song? Your Uncle Charlie wrote that. No lie. Kid, if I was gonna lie, I'd say I wrote Stairway to Heaven, not the Maple Loops song. You two are really good together. Thank you. So does your wife sing too? Oh, uh, no, no, I'm not married. What a shame. Wow. You're even better than a dog. <laughs> I am not comfortable with this. I mean, maybe I should go wait in the car. You're not waiting in the car. Trust me, this is a great way to meet women. I don't want to meet women. I'm still married. Come on, your wife's not meeting chicks. Why shouldn't you? Maple, 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 delicious. Your son is just adorable. Oh, thank you. You and your life partner must be so proud. <laughs> You're right. Go in the car. Did you fix it? Not quite. Doesn't seem like you're changing anything. Well, no, well, sometimes change happens, Judith, and you can't see. Okay, bye. When you're done fixing this, would you come inside and take a look at the garbage disposal? Sure. Thank you. Wait, no. What? No, I, I won't come inside and look at the garbage disposal. Why not? I know when I'm being used, Judith. And not in a fun way. What are you talking about? Who are we kidding? The marriage is over. You're just afraid to move on, so you keep dragging me over here, and I'm afraid to move on, so I keep coming. <laughs> Goodbye, Judith. You're free. I, I hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I tried calling, but I kept getting your machine, so I thought I'd bring this over. What is it? Oh, it's my master file of uh, handymen, plumbers, electricians, maintenance schedules, warranties, authorized repair centers, um, etc. Okay, well, uh, you're on your own. Gotta run. Alan, wait. Yeah? About that kiss. Ah. When you said we should move on, I got scared, and, uh, Alan, I kissed you out of fear. Hey, it still counts. Alan, you were right. We have to move on. Okay. Alan, wait. Yes? Yeah? Are the garbage disposal still making that horrible noise? Well, I keep telling you not to put bones in it. I didn't. The sick trap does not lie, Judith. <laughs> Sunshine. Oh, God. Close the drapes. Hey, what's this? Release an indemnification form. What? Were you on some kind of television show last night? I don't think so. Well, you and your brother signed it. Let me see that. <clears throat> Alan? Alan, wake up. You got a problem? Taxi cab confessions? If you got bugs, if you got hands, if you got bugs, it's like the plug, the thing that grows. Huh? Isn't that Beethoven?
know how my wife is going to be a lesbian. Eat oral sex. Eat. Hi, Berta. It's me, the, uh, the scrubbing bubble. I, I came to apologize. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Come on, can't, can't, can't we put aside our, our petty differences and, and, and find a way to work together out of a, a, a mutual love for Charlie? Yeah, that's why I do this. For love. The thing is, I'm, I'm going through a, a really tough time right now. My, my marriage is collapsing. My, my business is slow. My, my little boy is being dragged back and forth from his mother's house to, to, to Malibu. My alcoholic husband ran off with my daughter's parole officer, and I clean rich people's toilets for a living. Okay, let's not make this a competition. All right, so you won't come back. Will you at least tell me how you made the damn coffee Christmassy? Christmassy? Yeah, Charlie said your coffee tastes Christmassy. Oh, cinnamon. I said cinnamon! <sighs> oh, oh, lower back. You, uh, you do a lot of lifting? <laughs> of course you do. You're a maid, and I'm an ass. I'm a housekeeper. Of course. And you're an ass. <laughs> yes. Hey, uh, why don't you sit down? Let me take a look at you. What? I'm a chiropractor. Okay, but no funny business. Not to worry. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, God, that feels so good. Oh. Hey, Berta! I can't find my... Berta, if you're gonna do a guy in the laundry room, put a scarf on the doorknob or something. I'm a big fan. Jake, for the last time, nobody got creams. No one won, no one lost. Yeah, except for us, 12 to 2. Well, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. It's whether or not you beat the spread. Thank you, Charlie. Jake, go take a shower. Charlie, you're trying to teach the kids not to keep score. Well, you should have thought of that before you taught them to count. <laughs> By the way, uh, what are you doing with Jake tomorrow? I don't know why. I made a play date for him with one of the kids from the game. You're hitting on the mother, aren't you? <laughs> Can't slip one past you, can I? That's not what a play date is for. What? The kid plays, I have a date, everybody wins. Everybody wins? Yes. But I promise not to keep score. Charlie, you cannot use my son to pick up single mothers. Ah, but I can. <laughs> Good night, snack buddy. Man, I'll get killed. Hey, we're here for fun, right? Nobody wins or loses. Oh, come on. Somebody always loses. Who are we kidding? It's eight to one out there, and everybody here knows it. And, and you know, I'll tell you another thing. We haven't won a game all season. And I'll put that in the newsletter. And as God is my witness, there will be a newsletter. Dad, you're kind of freaking everybody out here. Forget it, Jake. It's Sherman Oaks. Mom? Okay, she's not here. Let's go. Okay, she's here. Let's go. Charlie, <laughs> Mom, are you all right? Why, why haven't you been answering the phone? I didn't want to burden anyone with my grief over the late Tommy Pearson. Tommy died? Well, he's dead to me. <laughs> okay, what happened? He dumped me. Mom, I'm sorry, but the thing between me and his daughter happened years before you even met the guy. This has nothing to do with you, Charlie. God, you're a narcissist. <laughs> no, Tommy left me for some fresh-faced 45-year-old bimbo. I'm, I'm sorry, Mom. I, I know he meant a lot to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, too. Thank you, Alan. Nice try, Charlie. <laughs> now, if you'll both please leave, I'd like to be alone. We understand. Charlie, wait. We can't just leave her here. Fine. Where do you want to leave her? <laughs> hey, Mom, why don't you, uh, 
Why don't you come back and stay at Charlie's house for a few days? How's that? <laughs> don't worry, Charlie. I have no desire to impose on your life. Appreciate it. All right, then. Chin up. <laughs> you sure, Mom? Yes. Thank you, Alan. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> so close. <laughs> It's time to get dressed. Wait a minute. Can you get me both from that top shelf? Mm -hmm. Let's go. What happened to breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Just go get dressed. Pardon me. There is a half-naked woman in our kitchen. Which half? Hey, Cindy. Hey, Charlie. How you doing? Not bad. How about yourself? Pretty good. Thanks again. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Anytime. Bye. How you doing? Thanks again. Charlie, casual sex is one thing, but this is just lazy. What are you talking about? You didn't have sex with her. She just surfs out on the point, uses my shower, and goes to work. So, you're not sleeping with her? Jeez, Alan, I don't sleep with every buff surfer chick that uses my shower. What kind of guy do you think I am? I think you're the luckiest bastard to walk the face of the earth, but... <laughs> That's not my point. I, I don't want women flashing their butt tattoos at my son. Cindy has a tattoo? Yes, a, a butterfly. Huh. Right cheek or left? Oh, wait, don't tell me. I want to be surprised. <laughs> so, you're not sleeping with her, but you want to. Well, yeah. What kind of guy do you think I am? <laughs> Before the Industrial Revolution, we lived in a grand society. Most people grew their own food and ate what they grew. Breakfast involved slaughtering animals and milking cows. It would be hundreds of years before people could enjoy a prepackaged and nutritious breakfast. Now what's in that breakfast? It's got oats and corn and wheat. It's a sweet and breakfast beer. This urbanization led to stress and loneliness. Industrial society looked to an ancient agrarian product Delicious and refreshing solution. The girls look prettier and have received beer. You like what you see and you like what you hear. A full crusty mug can pull her near. The girls look prettier, the girls look prettier, the girls look prettier. The girls look prettier. The girls look prettier. We're not letting anyone near the Christmas pageant. Agreed. Even with the advent of indoor plumbing, the Industrial Revolution still had some bugs in the system. What was man to do? Three, four. If your home is bug infested, fill the spiders
Let's see. One Russian blonde. One Scottish brunette. And a full-bodied redhead from Napa Valley. Charlie's Angels. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, hi. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm grocery shopping. Here? In my supermarket? So this is just a coincidence? Uh, well, it's, it's not entirely. I eat food and I live two blocks away. Oh, come on, Wendy. We both know that... Everything okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. Uh, Dave, this is Charlie. Charlie, Dave. Hey, hey. Dave, we need a Duraflame log. Okay. <laughs> Who's that? Your brother? No, he's... Oh, look, Charlie, um, I know I probably should have given you a call, but I just thought that after last weekend, it was pretty clear it wasn't going to work out between you and me. What? Well, I mean, I was happy to entertain your nephew for a while. I mean, he's a great kid, but who's got the energy? And your mother, she's been calling me all week. She wants to go to a spinning class with me. What is up with that? I, I thought you two hit it off. I'm from the Midwest. I was being polite. What did you think was going on? That. So no hard feelings. No, no, of course not. So, so you and Dave, uh, how, how serious is that? Bye, Charlie. You know, you're breaking a little boy's heart. Here it is. Ooh, bird, a nice looking bird. Thanks for blowing off your family and cooking for ours. <laughs> Show over. Are we gonna go around the table and say what we're thankful for? <laughs> Ooh, me, I got one. And <laughs> thankful for the food we eat, and thankful for the friends we meet, and thankful for my comfy seat, and thankful for the birdie's feet. <laughs> Hold on, Rose. Jake, why, why don't you go? Okay. I'm thankful for my mom and dad and my Uncle Charlie, who has shown in the few short months that I've been here, he is capable of sig significant. significant change and growth. Too obvious? A little bit. Okay, uh, well, I'm thankful that I can spend the holiday with uh, all the people I love and all the people who love me. And Judith. I'm thankful I'll be dead someday and you'll all feel horrible you weren't nicer to me. And I'm thankful that our daughter gave us at least one grandchild before she... <laughs> I'm thankful I finally found a therapist who has no compunction about prescribing powerful sedatives. Well, I'm thankful I can sit here and listen to you rich people whine while my family's scrabbling for a corn dog at the Pomona Fairgrounds. Charlie? No, you first. Uh, well, I'm thankful for you. And I hope you'll always be my friend. Okay, well, I'm thankful for you, too. And I'm thankful for everybody coming together today as unwitting participants in my desperate charade. Amen. We're going in there. What about happened to zippers? I miss zippers. I don't know, Alan, maybe there were too many injuries. Nobody ever got their balls caught in a buttonhole. Come on, let's see. I'm just not sure about this. Alan, we're never gonna find the right look for you unless we experiment. Now, let's see.
I'm not happy with visible nipples. Yeah, that's what's wrong with it. We need a gay guy. <laughs> well, I'd better get started on that work. I have to do. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta catch up on some, uh, some paperwork that uh, has to do with the, the office. <laughs> oh yeah, your job. Uh. <laughs> your chiropractor job. Mm. Yeah, you'll, you'll be what? You'll be writing a, a jingle. <laughs> yeah, potato chips. Uh. You know. The, One's in the can. Yeah. I like those. <laughs> All right then. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over to the piano now. Yeah, and I'm gonna go to the the, the, the kitchen and uh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got plans for tomorrow night? No. Make some. I'm gonna need the house to myself. Fine. Don't you wanna know why? Uh, Jake, if you're done, you can go to your room and start your homework. Oh, this is about sex, right? Kids today, huh? Doesn't know from under sauce, but gets why I need the house. Dude, I got a bunch of jokes you're gonna love in a year or two. Cool! Go. You think I'm just a kid, but I'm snot. <laughs> That's not right. Okay. Have you ever had revenge sex? Hang on. Jake, are you in your room? Yeah. Revenge sex. Is that uh, anything like pity sex? A whole different animal. <laughs> Let me break it down for you. There's this woman, Kathy, lives up the beach. Mm. Beautiful woman. I've wanted her for years. Only one problem. She's married to kind of a friend of mine. Kind of a friend? Well, I never really liked him, but he had a hot wife. So the uh, sanctity of marriage does slow you down a bit. I'm impressed. Thank you. But then I catch a break. He cheats on her with her best friend. She throws him out, so now I'm thinking she's going to want justice. Justice meaning revenge sex with you. You see, too, huh? Yeah. You're going to exploit someone's anger and grief for your own animal gratification. Hey, I don't bet you buy your hobbies. Anyway, she's coming over here on Sunday, so I'm gonna need you to be out of the way because we'll probably be moving from room to room. I'll catch a movie. Just mop up when you're done. Got it. I told you, don't take things off his plate. He's coming down with something. Relax. I never get sick. Very nice. <laughs> so, how much do you need? I admit that my lifestyle has been a little frivolous and I probably should have been paying closer attention to my expenses. All right. How much do you need? Hey, this is just a temporary thing. Couple of months. How much? You'll get it back. This isn't like the braces and the Mercury Capri. <laughs> Charlie, give me a number. <laughs> I really 
really appreciate this, Mom. No more need be said. You'll pay it back when you can. Thanks. All right, now that that's taken care of, why don't I take my boys out to dinner? There it is! <laughs> Everything's got a place! No, 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 she can't just do something nice. There's got to be strings attached. Nothing's given out of love. Everything's got a hook in it. Well, that's a good lady, because I'm a free man, and I can't be bought. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go hide my car. There we go. Watch your step. I can't feel my face, Charlie. You just have two wisdom teeth pulled. Watch the tool. Sexy woman. I'm sorry. That arouses you? How are you doing? Charlie, walk away. Yes, this could be interesting. You got a nice swing. Thanks. Try stepping into it. You get more power that way. You mean like this? Yeah. Dial one in the area code, because that is long distance. Shall we? Let's go. This woman is queer. We are lunatic. Look at the passion. The fire. The ass. Is this your car? I look crazy to you. Well, like we. So whose car is it? Cheating boyfriend? No. Psychiatrist. Are we psychiatrist? What more do you need to heal? So you're beating up your shrink's car? He said I have anger issues. The quack. And he hit on me. A horny quack. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm on deck. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to take forever. Either one of you guys got an ice cream? <laughs> no cars like this usually have an alarm system? Thanks a lot. Let's get out of here, Tully. Hey! You're not just going to leave me here, are you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, how come Mushmouth gets chopped up? <laughs> is, uh, is Joni okay? Yeah, she fell asleep as soon as her head hit the pillow. Well, it was a long day for her. Yeah. Well, the good news is I think my in-laws are going to back off. Hmm? The bad news is that wasn't my shrink's car. <laughs> Yeah, well, we all make mistakes. <laughs> but at least you made this one for the right reason. You, you love your daughter. I just wish I knew where to go from here. Because I know I seem like I've got it all together, but this is... <laughs> this is a little... Scary? Yeah. Uh, I understand. When, uh, when my marriage ended, I was terrified. Um, it, it's the unknown. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 don't, um, no, don't cry, don't cry, no, um, everything will work out, you'll see. since anybody's touched me. <laughs> I can't believe 
we even beat the ambulance? Yeah, well, those things are just ice cream trucks with blood bags. <laughs> Hi, who are you to say, doctor? I just fill this out and have a seat. No, 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 you don't understand. He hit his head, he's bleeding. Did he lose consciousness? No, I got a little woozy, though. Follow my finger. He's gonna be fine. That's it? Boop, boop, boop. He's gonna be fine? It's not a medical test. That's how you hypnotize a chicken. I like a chili cheeseburger and fries, please. You see, he's hallucinating. Can you please just get him into a doctor? Well, you need to fill this out first. Oh, come on. This is gonna take forever. Can't we do this later? Over dinner? Now you're hallucinating. We're gonna need two shots of tequila. Oh, that, that's okay, I, I don't want it. They're not for you. Well, this girl you're waiting for really must be something. Just serve the hooch and mind your own business. Charlie, I, I know... Yeah. Okay, go. I know this comes as a shock to you. Please. If I had a nickel for every time a girl dumped me and disappeared for five years and came back as a guy, I'd have a nickel. Keep them coming. I think I owe you an explanation. Who pays the nickel, by the way? Is it you or just out of some general fund? Charlie. Yeah? <laughs> Remember when we broke up and I said, it's not you, it's me? <sighs> yes. And I believe you now. I was so mixed up and unhappy as a woman. So, I know lots of mixed up unhappy women. They go shopping and eat ice cream. Did you even try that? I tried everything, Charlie, but the truth is I was always a man trapped in a woman's body. No, 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 I'm not buying this. No, if you were really a man back then, you would have jumped at that three-way with the cocktail waitress and Carmel. I begged you. You haven't changed. Wish I could say the same. <clears throat> How could I have explained it to you back then? I couldn't even explain it to myself. Okay, well, now you've explained. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you again. Good luck with the penis. <laughs> Wait. A few minutes ago, you said I was a really cool friend. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm back in L.A., and I'm kind of starting a new life. Uh-huh. And I could really use a friend. Oh, boy. It's just, you know, I, I'm completely alone, and I'm, I'm really scared. Oh, jeez. It's gonna be okay, Jill. Bill. Yeah, Bill, whatever. It's okay. I'm still your friend. Ah, oh, Charlie. You're the best. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. You were always a cheap slut and you haven't changed. Well, I was the slut, miss. Technically, I'm still a virgin. Uh, girls, girls, that, that's no way to talk. Ever since we were kids, anytime I loved something, you had to take it away from me, but you will not take away my ex-husband. You love me? What? No, I'm trying to make a point here. <laughs> Jude, if I wanted Alan, I could have had him a long time ago. What the hell does that mean? You never told her? Told me what? Oh, well, I mean, it's no big deal, really. Um, it's just that uh, uh, before I asked you out, uh, I asked uh, uh, Liz out. <laughs> you lied to me? If I'd said yes, you never would have dated him. So I was your second choice. No, no, no. Um, chronologically, yes. <gasps> but in my heart, you were always first. But in reality, you were second. <sighs> and you never told me this. Well, you can kind of see why. <laughs> you know, this wouldn't have happened if you were twins. <laughs> okay. You always wanted Liz? Go ahead, here's your chance. Give her your little adjustment. Maybe while you're having a good time with my sister, I'll have a good time with your brother. Right, pardon? Oh, don't be coy with me, Charlie. You know we've always had sexual tension between us. Really? Uh, I thought it was just regular tension. 
Come on, I've seen you looking at my chest. You looked at my wife's chest? I am a guy. I will rock his world, Helen, I swear. You're bluffing. Oh, am I? Watch me. Come on, Charlie. Come on. Helen, she's bluffing, Charlie. Are you sure? <laughs> Trust me, she hates you. Trust me, that doesn't always stop him. Come on, Alan, I'll show you where it hurts. Um, uh, here's something up for me. A uh, chiropractic adjustment, that's just a euphemism, right? Right. So we're really going to do this? Uh-huh. Wow, I thought we were bluffing. <laughs> Okay, we were bluffing. Let's do. No, please. Make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> okay, well, uh, Jake and I had it. A very nice little talk. I invited him to share his feelings with me in a confidential, non-threatening context. And after hearing everything he had to say, I must tell you, very frankly, oh, who am I kidding? I got nothing. <laughs> That's it? Uh, $150 an hour for I got nothing? <laughs> It's 175, but that's not really the point now, is it? What did he tell you? Well, he claims nothing's bothering him. He claims there's nothing wrong, but when I probed just a little bit, he told me to besame culo. You see? Spanish. I hope you're proud of yourself, Charlie. Hey, he's not a sulky little jerkwad because he learned a second language. See what my son's been living with? I, only because she threw me out. I, what? I have a right to be happy. Speaking of which, did I leave that girl at the house? <laughs> shut up, Charlie. Don't tell me to shut up. up. Calm down. I don't know what he's doing here. I, I'm trying to keep your kid from turning into a neurotic basket case like my brother. Hey, hey. <laughs> I won't marry this because I, I, you were allowed to be with me. And now I'm not myself. No words can hurt. So, Laura, let me ask you something. The other day in your office, you didn't seem to like me much. I was just wondering what caused you to drive over here, you know, mostly naked. Charlie, I don't have to like you to want you. Right on. <laughs> For the record, I don't like you much either. Right on. Another question. <clears throat> Seeing as how you're my brother's lawyer and all, is what we're doing here, what's the word, unethical? Oh, God, yes. Right on. Listen, Charlie. I totally get who you are. You date lots of women. You're a player. That's fine. I don't care. Oh, you are very special. I just have one little request. You can pretty much have anything you want right now. If your brother found out about us, he could sue me for malpractice. I'm taking a big risk here. Man, this just keeps getting hotter. But I need you to do something for me. When I call you, and I want you, you've got to be there. Okay. Let's practice. Ring. Hello? Oh, hey, Laura, what's up? Now. Right on. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm sorry, but uh, that's just the best I can do. Okay, well, let's try something else. This is called a bataka. It's heavily padded. It can't hurt anyone. But you can use it to vent your deep, angry feelings. You're wasting your time, Doc. It's too much of a win. Attaboy, Alan! Stuff? 
<laughs> what? You got a normal size head. Thanks. I'm pretty happy with it. Well, I don't get it. What don't you get? I heard Mom say the reason Uncle Charlie gets in so much trouble is because he thinks with his little head. <laughs> It's not that little. Okay. You tell your mother, Charlie, that women are to be honored and respected. CJ, that's the big head talking. When he only has one head. You want to tell him, or should we let him spin for a while? I'd rather he spin. Oh, come on. At least give me a clue. All right. What do men have that women don't? Beards? Lower. Beards? You're right. Let him spin. Hey, hey, Charlie! What? Are you nuts? You can't put that in the freezer. It's ice cream. <laughs> Store bought, not hand cranked. Yeah, you're hilarious. You're lucky I'm still talking to you after tossing my swimmers on the coast highway. What? That's nothing. Thanks to you, I gotta reschedule the whole deal for this afternoon. A whole deal? It's not important, Jay. Why shouldn't he know? Okay, go ahead, explain it to him. Well, Jay, <laughs> your Uncle Charlie is getting a vasectomy. What's wrong with the car you have now? Well done. All right, let me try again. Uh, a vasectomy is a very simple operation. Are you sick? No, 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 no I'm, I'm perfectly healthy. It's a procedure so that I don't have uh, babies by accident. Oh, yeah, like we had to do a scout. <laughs> scout? The dog we had. Couldn't keep it in his fur. <laughs> keep going. You're doing great. Uh, Jake, it's not exactly the same with people as with dogs. I know. Why don't you just use a condom? <laughs> Guess he knows more than he lets on. You do, don't you? I hear things. 